What is up guys, Photo Fever here and welcome back to another Tuesday two minute tutorial. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can fix your underexposed photos in Photoshop really easily to make them look fantastic. And I'm gonna start right now. Right guys, so the first thing you need to do is just go ahead and choose a photo that is underexposed. And I found a perfect example on unsplash.com. And this is the photo that I'm going to be using in this sample tutorial. Now, as you can see, it is very dark. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go firstly, we're gonna go ahead and duplicate the background layer just in case we make any mistakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and press Command J on our keyboard. Once we've done that, we're gonna go over to that new layer that we've just made. We're gonna right click, and I'm gonna convert it into a smart object. This is because we're going to be using filters in Photoshop. Once it has made it into a smart object, all you'll need to do is go up to filter and then we're going to drop down to the camera raw filter. Now the camera raw filter gives you a little bit more customization on how we're going to brighten the photo. We could just use the brightness and contrast adjustment layer, but it doesn't give you great amount of tweaking and adjustments. The camera raw filter does. So once it's opened in the camera raw filter, we want to go over to our basic slider here, and then we want to affect this main box here. These are your exposure sliders. So we're gonna go ahead and obviously move the exposure one up until you are happy, but you can also tweak the contrast. You can also tweak the highlights and also the shadows, and then you've also got the blacks and whites. Now, in this particular tutorial, I'm actually going to add in a small amount of texture. So I'm gonna add in 10% texture, 10% clarity and 10% dehaze. But because we've brightened the photo, if we go ahead and zoom into the shadow areas, you can see there is a lot of grain here. So what we can do is turn off the basic sliders. We're gonna go down to the details panel. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our noise reduction slider. And we're gonna go ahead and move that up. And then we can also do color noise reduction as well to remove any ISO noise. Now, once you've done that, you might find the photo is a little bit soft so all you need to do is just take up the sharpen slider just like so. And then all you need to do is, out, is zoom out. We can go back to Photoshop so we can click the OK button found in the right hand corner. And once it is loaded in, you can marvel at your genius. If we do the before and do the after, we have successfully brightened the photo, but also at the same time removed any ISO noise. And there we go, guys. Here is the before and here is the after.